Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little bit late to the party, but that's okay. You know, that is a okay. I know I said it was going to be this Wednesday, the Thursday, the Friday, and then yada, yada, yada. I just kept on being lazy about it, but it's all right. The WBA All-Star break is about to begin the game tonight between the WBA All-Stars and the U.S. Olympic basketball team is going to be a interesting one, to say the least. Um, but, of course, I do not care for All-Star games, nor do I care for the Olympics, so I'm not going to talk about all of that. These ladies, most of these ladies will get a month off, you know, the other 132 you know, Star will get the month off, and 12 will go up for the Olympics, and then they'll get like a 15-day break after the Olympics is over. So the big thing right now is that you have a top five that is really, really good, a really, really good top five. Of course, New York, led by led, 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 by, led by Brianna Stewart and Sabrina Inescu. With John Quill Jones, you know, a really good, really good lineup. Manijah Laney Hamilton has come back into the lineup, you know, too. So that has been good for New York. They're 21 and 4. Connecticut right behind them with the duo of the one up honor and Alyssa Thomas, you know, along with DJ Carrington, who's been playing pretty well, and Brianna Jones also playing some pretty good basketball. Minnesota at number three, yeah, Nafisha Collier. Has been out for a little bit, but Alana Smith, Caleb McBride, Courtney Williams, they've been stepping it up. Seattle, number four in the league, 17 and 8 as well. You know, Jewel Lloyd, you know, Naneko Omagumuke, you know, uh, as he might be bore. You know, and forgive me if I mispronounce names. I'm not good with names. You know this. Y'all know this. Um, Really fun Seattle squad. Really fun Seattle squad, I think. And along with Skylar Diggins Smith, you know, as well. He's been at the end and again, a lot of these ladies have just been hooping, just straight up hooping. But the team that has dangerously gained onto all four of those teams is the Las Vegas Aces. Of course, Asia Wilson looking to go again with another MVP type season, averaging, you know, over 20, 25 a game, damn near. 20, 12 rebounds a game. I mean, just absolutely immaculate play. And Chelsea Gray's got back into the lineup. Jack Young's been playing good. Kelsey Plum's been playing good. Everything is going pretty good for the Aces right now. Phoenix, you know, 13 to 12, not bad. You know, they're the only other team that is over 500 right now. Not not bad. You know, Diana Taurasi has been playing pretty good. Uh, when, it, when they can, you know, when she can, you know, Natasha Cloud's been playing pretty decent. You know, Brittany Griner has been kind of, been kind of on and off, but Kalea Copper has been really the star for this team right now. In the end, of course, Caitlin Clark, what do you say? The assist record, you know, although she also has the most turnovers in the league, she's been making plays to Aaliyah Boston that has just been unreal. The, the duo of those two has just been unreal. And you also have to, you know, give shout outs to Kelsey Mitchell and Alyssa Smith. I mean, just a really, really solid Indiana team. And right behind them is the Chicago Sky with the breakout of Trinity Carter. Of course, Angel Reese, you know, more so than Camila Cardoso. And I know people are like, oh, well, don't bet on Camila Cardoso. And you would be right. Do not bet on Camila Cardoso because if you do, you will lose your parlay. Um, Reese has been tracing that that double-double streak. She had it. It was like at 15 games before it got broken, you know, in the past couple games. But it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Chicago's in position to be in position right now. Atlanta right behind them at 7 and 17. You know, Alicia Gray's been playing pretty good basketball. Tina Charles has been very inconsistent, and the rest of the dream, you know, has just been kind of eh. Of course, the Erica Hamby leads the Los Angeles Sparks, but, you know, they had a great victory over Las Vegas a couple weeks ago. And, you know, that that's really been one of the driving forces, you know, again still in position to be in position. There's a long way to go. We still got like 15 games to go for most of these teams. 15 um, to 16 games to go for most teams. So don't worry about it. Washington, 
Uh, Aaliyah Edwards has been playing pretty good. Um, you know, Ryan, you know, uh, Ryan Howard's been out. You know, um, you know, I guess I guess Stephanie Dawson said so stepping up. And the Dallas Wings, you know, six nineteen. Arike been playing pretty good. Um, Tasha Howard's been playing pretty okay. Odyssey Sims has really stepped up. And Tierra McCallum still, golly, you know, I know, I know people like the joke, you know, about the way she looks, but I mean, you just, it's undeniable at this point. It's undeniable. So yeah, Asia Wilson's been, you know, slowly getting back up there and looking like she's going to get another, you know, MVP. Caitlin Clark, you know, breaking assist records, getting triple doubles and everything like that. Angel Reese, of course, been playing lights out. Other other gals like DJ Carrington's been playing pretty solid basketball. Again, Shanady Carter's breaking out. Marina Mabry, who got traded from Chicago to Connecticut, had been playing some pretty good basketball recently. You know, I know she's an older star, but you know, she's been playing some pretty good basketball recently, helping you know dictate the Chicago offense. You know, when Shanady Carter could step up. Or, you know, when Angel Reese was throwing up layups that missed at getting her own offensive rebounds. But yeah, um, Connecticut looks like it looks like we're going to have a New York, Connecticut, Las Vegas, Seattle, Minnesota type final five, you know, top five. And I think that's going to stay that way for the time being. You know, Phoenix, you know, if they just get a little bit more production. Out of Brittany Griner, I think you know. I think that would be great. You know, I know she's expecting her first kid. You know, everything like that. Indiana, Chicago, hey, just all those two teams have to do is just stay in this thing. Just keep winning. And you know, the w, or yeah, the WMA playoffs features the top eight teams, unfortunately. So no top six, no top four. Uh, the playoff windows have been announced for the first cup for the first round and then um, the first set semifinal games. I think those are some ABC games in there. Uh, definitely some, you know, some, some ESPN, ESPN two games in there as well. So there's all that. Um, that that's that's going to be for September, of course. You know, the WNBA comes back in late August. And you know, rather in the middle of August, and I think you know, I think the momentum is going to be riding high. The women's, the women's U.S. basketball team is looking for another Olympic gold, winning what their eight, looking to win what their eighth straight or something like that. Um, again, I don't really follow the Olympics all that much, and I don't really care for them. So, if you are interested in the Olympics, you go right ahead and you go ahead and watch all that. But uh, for me. Um, I'm really excited. I've been watching. I've been paying attention. As you can tell, I've been breaking these teams down a little bit, you know. And at the end of the day, we're going to have one hell of a conclusion to the WNBA season when we come back from the All-Star break in August. So cannot wait to talk to you again about the WNBA, you know, just a little bit after the All-Star break. It'll be like a, maybe like a week or two after, you know, we get back into the swing of things. So it'll probably be that Sunday after the first day of college football. So after week zero, that's when we'll talk WNBA yet again. And then, you know, of course, the end of the regular season, we'll talk about the playoffs, we'll preview the playoffs. And then, you know, in October – that's when the playoffs will be decided. We'll talk about the NBA some more. And I know, I know, I want to get some NBA stuff off the, uh, you know, off the rack here. But I don't want to talk about the NBA just yet. Um, I do want to break it all down. But it's not the time yet. I want the NBA schedule to come out first before I talk about you know Russell Westbrook getting traded because that's the thing that happened, you know, to Utah, which is crazy. But yeah. That'll do it for me, and 